Hello YouTubers. Okay, this is the um this is the seventh part of my series of making a Tron like character. We've just finished making the spine of the armature. You can see it here. And if you put it in pose mode, you can see that we separated it into segments. We're going to focus today on making the arm and uh, making it move like an arm with some control objects and some uh, pole objects. The so first thing we need to do is make the shoulder. I'm going to click right here in the neck and we're going to hit E to extend it down to the shoulder. Position it correctly. I want to position it um, more in the middle. If you ever move your shoulder, it doesn't move from the back of your spine. It kind of moves from the middle of your body. So we're going to we're going to remove the parent, so clear and we want to disconnect the bone so we're going to move that over realign the shoulder and we're going to rename this to be arm L001 okay and what we want to do is uh, we want to optimize our work and we want to make it more accurate so we're going to do the left and the right side together to do that, you click this x-axis mirror radio button. And to get started, let's um, make a duplicate of this armature by hitting Shift D, moving it over here, changing its name to Arm R001. All right. Now click the original, hit G, move it around, and you'll see that we are aligned. Now click on the end of that. Uh, original one, the arm L001, hit E and move it down and you'll see that both sides are going to be in sync from here on out. Alright, so we've put the base of the arm there. Now what we need to do is we may need to make, um, we need to do the, it's called the IK, um, I'll get it in a minute. What it is is really a control kind of armature that can move the arm for you. So when you animate, I mean, if you didn't have a control object, you would be animating like this and then animating like this. It would take a long time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. Here, let me clear the transform. Yes, okay. I'm going to show you how to make some control objects. So we're going to click here. We're going to hit E. I'm going to extend it down. I'm going to change the name to Control um, L. Okay, and we have to rename the other side. And we're going to go Control R. We're going to clear the parent, but this time clear it, not just disconnect the bone. Now it moves freely. And we're also going to do the same thing, but from the elbow. Move this out. We're going to rename this arm pole L. And we're going to go to the right side and call this arm pole R. And the same thing, we're going to go to parent, clear parent. So again, we have it's free floating. Now change the mode to pose and let's click on the forearm. When we're in pose mode we get this new option called bone constraints. Go here say add constraints. We want an inverse kinematics, this IK. We're going to set the target by first picking armature. The whole thing is the armature object and then picking the control object to the left and then we're going to pick the pole object for the left. Okay, you can see this really messed everything up. And what we need to do is we need to set this to 2. What that is saying is this will affect itself and the next one up. Now, we can see the benefits of this and it, the arm moves, which is kind of nice. But we're not done yet. I would like the arm to be in alignment with this pole. So click on the yellow bone again, the forearm, and we're going to change the alignment 
the bone angle to match up with the where the pole is. So that way it'll be like he's moving the arm in whatever direction the pole object is. Let's repeat that same process on the other side. Add the IK armature, right control, armature, right pole. Turn the chain to 2, hit 7 to go to the top. Let's change the degree, and look at that. We have the same effect. So very cool. Very quickly, we just made the arms. Very powerful, very easy. So let's clear the transforms. And then the next thing we're going to do, first we're going to save it. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is add some grouping. Uh, grouping is important because you can select things, you can, you know, when you're doing animation you may only want to deal with the hand. Um, it's easier, it, it's easier and it's also, it gives it some kind of color coordination so you can spot the different armatures, e you know, easier. Um, Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the two control objects. Right, we're going to go to the object data into this bone group section. Notice that the bone group section is only editable in pose mode. In edit mode it's it's not editable. So go back to pose mode. We have our two bones selected. We're going to hit this plus sign and we're going to call this arm controls. We're going to assign them. We're going to pick a color. As you can see they're red now. I'm going to do the same thing for the poles. I'm going to make a new group. Our arm poles. I'm going to pick a new color. And we're going to assign. And there we go. All right. At this point, we're going to save. Now, the next thing is is movement. So, if I move the whole structure, you can see because I disconnected the control and the pole armatures, they don't go with me, which is kind of, in some sense, good. You might want to keep them in the same place if they're holding something. But if I want to move the whole figure, it's not good. So what we need to do is make what I call master object. So let's start at the tailbone, hit E, pull it back. Let's go to um, here and call it master. All right, now we're going to go to the armature, and again we're going to clear, clear parent. Move it out just a little bit, rotate it up. All right, now we're going to click on the arm control, and then we're going to click on the master. Oops. And then we're going to go here, we're going to say parent make, keep offset. Same thing to the pole. Make keep offset. And then lastly to the spinal column, parent, make, ooh, I don't want to connect. Let's see if that'll work. So if I do this, everything is working except for the spinal column. Let's see if we can fix that again. Oh, we gotta go back in edit mode. Parent, make, keep offset. There we go. I must have selected them in the wrong order. Now we can move and it moves everything. This will be our master armature. Okay, I think that was one of the fastest lessons I had. So that is how we make an arm. I'll be posting the file just like I always do. The link is in the underbar. Um, please check it out. Uh, hope you enjoy. If you have any comments, please let me know. The next thing I'm going to be working on is the hands. Thanks.